So I got some bad news I want to share with you guys. Donald Trump has just approved the Keystone XL pipeline, which will run for about 1,700 miles, and it will bring in dirty Canadian tar sand oil. And this pipeline was denied under the President Barack Obama administration, and a lot of people are fearful that this pipeline will leak and cause an environmental disaster. And it looks like Donald Trump is just saying, uh, or, or is giving the middle finger to the environment. And it looks like under his presidency, we'll be having a lot of environmental catastrophes because the people that he surrounds himself by uh, deny facts, they don't care, they put um, profits over people. And you know this pipeline, which Donald Trump has said will call, will uh, create tens of thousands of jobs and use, uh, you know, U.S. made steel. It's just, I mean, these are things that are just like he lied on. He, excuse me, he lied on because, you know, the construction of this pipeline will create a couple thousand jobs, but once it's done, it will only have like twenty to thirty uh, permanent jobs, and then also, the uh, the part where he said that this is only going to be. Um, created with U.S. made steel, yeah, he took that part out and you know just swept it under the rug because he doesn't care about the American people. He doesn't care that his policies will have a very negative and drastic effect on people's health, people's lives. Um, when the Republicans want to uh, get rid of the Affordable Care Act, that's going to cause 23 million people uh, to lose their health insurance. They just don't care. It's like to them, we're just the uh, the serfs and the corporations are the um, the lords that they have to um, listen to and do whatever they want and they let them get away with anything. And under this administration, that's how it's going to be for at least the next uh, two years and for or about I don't know like after the uh, let's we're going to see how the midterm elections uh, turn out. But uh, the, the, the excuse me, the Democratic Party. It's just continuing to, you know, keep the same policies that has caused, uh, you know, the Democratic Party to lose so much ground when it comes to um, our political system. But I'm going to keep you guys updated. Please hit that subscribe button, uh, comment, and like this video, and have a nice day. Peace.